What's up, YouTube? Mania Beetle 01 back with another video. Um, today, I didn't get anything in the mail today, so I decided to make a video of my autographed mini helmets. Now, mind you, these aren't the normal baseball autographed mini helmets that you see, regular size, if you want to put it that way. No. These autographed mini helmets are the ice cream helmets that you get at the stadiums with your Dippin' Dots or when you buy them at Dairy Queen. So um, I, had a, I had accumulated a couple of these over the years and decided one day, why the heck not, why not send it out and see if the, if the players will autograph them. And got a bunch autographed for the mail, got a bunch autographed in person also. Um, right now I kind of stopped doing these mini helmets because A, um, the players would sign up across the side of the helmet, which doesn't make good for displaying. And uh, B, also I don't have a place to display them any shelving because I'm, you know, looking to move out from where I'm at right now. Um, and most of my stuff is packed up, so um, well, hopefully my new apartment, I'll have a man, be able to get a man cave so I can display all my stuff. Um, got the Yankee game going right now. I think it's tied up at one in the bottom of the, in the top of the third. Teixeira just got hit by a pitch. Um, so, well, that's it. Let's get on with this. This may be a two-parter. I don't know. So, let's see. First of all, um, this one, Oakland A's. It's signed by Raleigh Fingers. Uh, this was through the mail, he um, ten dollars. He signed it. You can see these containers. I have them. These are the containers you keep the um, Beanie Babies in. I bought a case of these at a card show for like fifty bucks because I was I didn't know where to put these things and I want them ruined. I have also a lot of mini helmets that are not in cases, um, so I'm trying to hopefully not get them ruined. As you can see, I've kept the wrapping in the back of it to keep the helmet stable inside the inside the container. So there's Raleigh Fingers. Next up. Through the mail, Ron Say, signed it in black. Still, I think it looks pretty cool. Say has a great signature. But unfortunately, you know, nowadays I would have rather have him signed it in silver, so I need to get another Dodger helmet and have him sign it in silver. Next up, signed Arizona Diamondback Mini of Mark Grace. There's the autograph right there. This was signed through the mail. It didn't take very long for him to send it out. I mean, for him to sign it and send it back. This one was an in-person at a card show. Tex Clavenger, former uh, player for the Yankees in the, in the, I believe, late 50s. Signed right across the brim in silver, just like how I like it. Next up, former Met, Mookie Wilson. Unfortunately, he decided to sign in the, on the side of the helmet. He signed this for me in person when he was managing the Brooklyn Cyclones. Okay. Next up, this one was a custom made. I bought a couple of custom made off of eBay from a guy. Um, so he made a couple of Brooklyn Dodgers and he made a couple of New York Giants for me. So I got this Brooklyn Dodger, former uh, 1955 World Series MVP of Johnny Padres before he passed, obviously. Um, this was at a bank signing in Brooklyn. Him and a couple of other former Brooklyn Dodgers did a signing, and I was able to get him to sign this in person. So that's Johnny Padres. Next up, through the mail, Johnny Blanchard. Signed right across the brim right there. You can see right there. I think the Yankee helmets look fantastic when they're done in silver. This one was also done for the mail. Another deceased Yankee, Hank Bauer. It's time to cross the brim. This one really ticked me off. Now, this one I sent in the mail, the Minnesota Twins helmet. Um, sent it to Tom Kelly. Signed it not only did he sign it across the brim, he signed it in black. That looks terrible. Okay. Next up, also through the mail, Bucky Dent. Uh, this one was in, one of the other ones in person. Again, across the side, Ralph Branca. Gave up. The, that was the picture that gave up the home run to, to this guy over here. One of the world, the most famous home runs ever in the history of baseball, shot calls around the world, of Bobby Thompson. When I display those two helmets, I'm gonna put them side by side.
uh, controversy about that home run. Now they're saying that that uh, he was tipped, that he knew that that pitch was coming. Uh, this one, you know, I don't remember who this. Oh, I think this is Jeff Nelson. I don't remember for sure. I don't think it's Jeff Nelson. I don't remember who this is. If anybody knows, please let me know. This one's starting to rack my brain. Okay, next up, um, Aaron Small signed at a baseball card show in Long Island. Okay, another former Brooklyn Dodger and also former Brooklyn, I'm sorry, former Met. Eddie played for the Mets, and he also coached the Mets, Joe Pigliotano. Remember back when I was a kid, he, there was an article in the newspaper where him and a couple of the other coaches grew a vegetable garden out in Shea Stadium, which I always, for some reason, I thought that was cool. I don't know why. Okay. This one is of Chris Chambliss, who, incidentally, the first game I ever watched as a kid was the Yankees-Royals playoff game back in 76 and Chambliss hit the home run to put the Yankees in the World Series, um, forever cementing my fandom with with the Yankee universe. So I will always be grateful to Chris Chambliss for that. Next up, in person of Johnny Cux. Not only did he autograph it, he also inscribed it 56 to 58 World Series champs. Awesome, awesome piece right there, I think. Next up, through the mail, Frank Howard signed this Nationals helmet, but since it looks so much like the wash, like the Senator's helmet he played in, I decided to send it to him, and he signed it in blue, but it looks great. Next up was an in-person signing in Long Island, former Met catcher Wayne Garrett. Oh, wait, that's a sheet of the shortstop, I'm sorry. Signing in black across the brim. Garrett could have been a second baseman. I don't remember. Um, next up, Hall of Famer, Goose Gossage. Um, next up, another Hall of Famer, Detroit Tigers, Al Kaline. Right there, as you can see, he signed. It's not too bad. You can see it when it's displayed. Still looks good. Signing in. Silver across the dark Detroit Tigers helmet. Next up, 1972 National League Rookie of the Year, John Matlock. Signed the Mets helmet across the side. Eh, what are you going to do? Looks good though, anyway. And this is Joe, uh, Gil McDougal. You can't see the autograph. He too signed it in blue ink. Make it out a little bit right there. I don't know if I should get rid of the autograph. And McDougal's not going to be around too much longer. Uh, I'm running out of time. These are not uh, in, in any cases. This one is Hall of Famer Robin Roberts. Signed his Phillies mini helmet for me at the All-Star Fan Fest a couple years ago when they had it here in New York. This was an in-person of Ed Cranepool. At a baseball card show in, in Westchester. This one is Steve Balboni. Signed the Yankee mini helmet on the side. And I do remember that, that was in person, and I do remember him asking for him to do it in, on the brim. He didn't. Oscar Gamble. This was Scott outside of Shea Stadium, Omar Minaya. This one was in was in the mail. Cecil Fielder. And I'm going to stop the video right now. I'm running out of time. Uh, I know you only get 10 minutes to do these, so I have a couple more to show off. Um, so I'll do that in a few minutes. Um, and part two is coming up right now.